Yer, this is Perp, back with another video. And what if you took elements of heroes, elements of Gen V, and sprinkled a little bit of They Clone Tyrone? You get the series that I just watched, Supercell. Now, this is a six episode series. This is set in London, all black cast. So I was definitely looking forward to checking this out. But I'm just going to give you my thoughts overall with this. And yeah, we'll have to wait and see if this gets renewed for a second season. There are some interesting things. There's some flaws that I have. But let's let's kind of talk about this. So this is about five characters here that all of a sudden start to get these abilities. You know, their eyes start to glow yellowish and they all start to display some of these abilities starting with michael he's the first one he's the most important character because he's able to teleport even go into the far far future and his whole thing is once he goes into the future and he sees his future self his future self tells him like you can stop all of this from happening if you save dion that's his girl at the current time so it's pretty much the whole save the cheerleader save the world type of um thing going on and he also gives him a list of other people that needs to stay alive to kind of help him as well for this to kind of go on so he has to form kind of this alliance between like taser rodney sabrina and andre and they have very interesting stories as well the second person we get kind of um introduced to her gets the the next episode is taser which he is probably my favorite character you know he comes from this gang and i didn't know this that london or the uk had bloods and crips out there there's a lot of flaws with that because i saw people wearing their flags on the wrong fucking side i was like that's kind of weird they're the funniest like goofiest gangsters i've ever seen like that whole kind of arc and stuff was funny but you know taser has this clash with this character named crazy the guy that kind of put, brought him into the gang and whatnot and they end up having you know a clash which little um little does he know ties into the bigger overall picture now going over to rodney the weed man the funniest weed man because i would have never bought nothing from him because i would have thought he was a narc the way he was talking he literally had a line in this saying like i got some cali cushion in, in me pocket like he was a fucking leprechaun bro that shit was hilarious but his power uh he's able to run really fast he's pretty much like the flash going back to taser real quick he's um able to be invisible and stuff and he ends up like robbing uh drug dealers and killing drug dealers and stuff with that power really cool stuff there aside from the goofy gangster shit and whatnot but yeah rod so taser he's able to go invisible rodney he's able to um run really fast like the flash in the future though he's able to kind of throw lightning which is interesting that a lot of these characters can have multiple abilities now shifting things over to sabrina she's like this nurse and whatnot um she has the sister that she really cares about but her sister uh also has connections with uh with crazy you know and crazy ends up being a very pivotal character we'll get into that very shortly but sabrina's whole power is she's able to use telekinesis um move things with her mind and whatnot she's pretty op you know i would say she's pretty strong speaking of strong we got andre which andre he's really struggling to kind of um uh, provide for his son he's not able to get any type of job because he's got the uh, he's got a felony and whatnot he was just the wrong place wrong time for him and it just kind of really derailed his life but his whole power is super strength so now it's up to michael to find all these different characters and bring them together but it's going to be very difficult difficult because there is an outside force that is trying to stop them and collect them for what reason research purposes because 
the people behind this are targeting specific people that have sickle cell hence the whole supercell but the whole reason they have their powers is because it's a mutated version of sickle cell that comes from one of their parents because there's this whole missing persons kind of angle that um sabrina not sabrina but dion kind of looks into is why she kind of gets involved and she is the one that does the deep dives and finds out like there's this secret lair where they're doing these experiments because there's a bunch of missing people that are going around um some for months some for years and whatnot and this big bad corporation whatever you want to call it this secret kind of thing is all white people in there <laughs> and that's why i said there's that little hints of uh they clone tyrone and whatnot that we don't know exactly why they want to make these superhuman hu beings and stuff like that it's not fully fleshed out just yet but i do like how this story kind of ends you know as far as the first season goes there are some things that i have issues with like the special effects aren't that good they're really not that good they're really on like cw level it depends on the power though if it's like invisibility teleporting or um running really fast those effects look good but the fire and just some of the flying looks really goofy some of it is just you know but i still enjoyed watching this you know um to get to the end where everybody comes together and is fighting the big bad or the big bad of this season is uh crazy and what ends up happening is Dion ends up dying still he's not able to prevent that so now he's kind of have to band together with everybody to see who's behind all of this and get his revenge so like I said there's aspects to the show that I really like and I think it has potential I I feel like they definitely need to tighten up on some aspects of the writing because some of the characters like sabrina i don't know just wasn't really hidden for me it took me a while to warm up to rodney's character and i like his uh his friend um spud he's kind of like the comic book nerd and stuff like that he he's kind of geeked out by this whole kind of situation because rodney at first he wasn't trying to even be involved with this until his friend got uh almost uh pretty much put into a coma which it's kind of weird that um he just wakes up they don't really uh, anyways like i said that there's definitely issues problems i have with this first season but there are definitely room there's definitely room for improvement but i am fascinated i do hope this gets a second season uh just to see where the story goes because it's fascinating now and i do appreciate this being pretty violent you know what I'm saying? That last fight was pretty crazy where crazy went off and killed everybody and Michael had to turn back time real quick, but only to still have uh, his girl get killed and stuff like that. And yeah, overall, decent watch. I have my issues, like I said, time and time again. I definitely think that this could improve. I don't see this being a long stretched out season since it's or series, I should say. I, I could see this probably going like two or three more seasons. You know what I'm saying? And they can wrap things up. Uh, but let me know in the comments below. What are your thoughts of this? Did you enjoy this more than me? Are you looking forward to a season two? Who are some of your favorite characters? What kind of abilities would you want to get if you had a supercell? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Till next time, I'm out. Peace.